tonight on this Tuesday afternoon, a warm day. Meteorologist Jay Gallet is here now with our forecast. Jay, looking good out there. Beautiful conditions and is a bit on the warm side. Not quite near that average of about 84 degrees, but we're close. Let me show you what's happening out west because what's happening out west is going to impact us here in the Gulf South. Can you see that spin in the atmosphere? That is an area of low pressure that has cut off from the main flow and you can see it just kind of churning right here, picking up some moisture and bringing it across the four corners, getting a little bit of severe weather as well in parts of uh, New Mexico and parts of Colorado. You can see also some moisture moving in from the south off the Gulf of Mexico. You know, hurricane season starts around here June 1st, but in the eastern Pacific, it starts this upcoming Monday, May 15th. And notice what they already have here in the eastern Pacific. This is going to be about 300 miles south of El Salvador, tropical depression 1E. So they're already going, getting going in the uh, tropical Pacific. Uh, we've got winds of 35 miles per hour and watch over time. This could become Adrian category one storm by Saturday and it's going to continue traveling toward the north, possibly impacting southern Mexico. So they're already getting going as far as hurricanes go in the Pacific. We start once again on June 1st and the, the experts have predicted so far about an average year. Uh, speaking of average, 82 is a high temperature. The average is 84, so kind of staying just below that. <clears throat> Excuse me, the record is 91. So we want to stay away from the 90s as long as we can. Believe me, before you know it, we're going <clears> to... <throat> We're going to be feeling those 90s. 83 right now in Slidell, 84 in Hammond, 86 and warm in Bogalusa, 79 in Boothville, and a pair of uh, 83 and 82 in Gulfport and Biloxi, respectively. Winds, eh, they're out of the south, they're out of the southwest, out of the east, so mainly an onshore component. Winds running about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So back into the upper levels would go and watching this big area of low pressure, you can see is grabbing lots of moisture, tossing it across uh, the desert southwest and the four corners. That is what's going to be heading our way. And when it does, it's going to spin up a little area of low pressure down at the surface and eventually a cold front. So we're going to pick it up 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. High pressure in control. Remember the clockwise flow that's going to toss that Gulf moisture across the area. We're going to be warm once again, probably feeling a little muggy. And then as we get into the overnight hours tomorrow, heading into Thursday morning, notice the clouds starting to creep back in and back off toward the west. This is 215 on Thursday. Some cloud cover, but rain starting to develop. Our front still back off toward the northwest. And there you have it by 7 o'clock. Friday morning. This is going to be near our doorstep and we'll see how much oomph this has. And as we get to right around lunchtime, that's when I'm expecting this front to start pushing through scattered to widespread, possibly showers and thunderstorms. The severe weather threat looks kind of marginal right now, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. So tonight we'll keep temperatures upper 50s, low to mid 60s, partly cloudy, a few areas of fog possible winds stay out of the south and then tomorrow going to be another warm one. Expecting highs between the low to mid 80s, winds out of the southeast, mild to warm. Remember, going to feel a little humid. And here's your seven day forecast. Have a look. So the only blip, if you will, only flying the ointment is going to be on Friday, about a 60% chance of rain. So before that and after that, we're looking good. Temperatures are going to stay rather warm. We're going to start pushing the mid to upper 80s by the time we get into the weekend. So not a bad go of it. We'll just have to look out for Friday and that chance of rain. Speaking of rain, let's give away an umbrella.